Hello everyone, it's David here. You're watching David Owen Creates. In today's video, we're going to be trying courgette flowers. They are the flower that is from a squash plant. In order to harvest your flowers, you're gonna need a basket of choice as well as a clean pair of pruning How's shears or cutting shears of your choice. Here are my little baby squash. They're looking pretty good. It's about middle of July when I'm filming this, so right now they're much, much bigger than this. All right, so these are the flowers we're gonna be using and cutting. They have already blossomed and they look like this. They're just kind of drooped over. They are actually closed and kind of sticky because the petals kind of stick to each other, if that makes sense. The ones that have not bloomed, you do not want to cut. And you'll be able to tell the difference because it's kind of firm and it doesn't look like it kind of droopy, I guess, if that makes sense. This one here is a great one to use. <laughs> it's hanging on let go and i do want to mention to be pretty careful when touching the plant that's why i'm wearing gloves as well as be careful there could be a bee inside of the flower which that happened with me so all right so we are heading on over to miguel's house miguel is stephanie's husband you guys may have met him in a previous video i did a video at their house where we cleaned up their house and it was super fun so here we go we're heading on over there. And here it is. Welcome to Miguel's house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is the little creek right behind my house. My house is over there. You can tell all the junk outside. <laughs> So right now we're in the back where Stephanie and Miguel's little garden is that they started this year. First time doing a garden. They got some corn over here. It's so cute. I don't know what really most of this stuff is, but they also have some squash. So they have like these yellow flowers, but the, you can tell like this one hasn't bloomed yet. So, but this one right here, it's already bloomed, so that one's a good one to pull. So those are the ones I'm gonna snatch up in here. Now that we've gathered a bunch of flowers, we're taking all the little pollen pieces out. You wanna make sure you rinse the flower very well get all of the germs, the bugs, everything off of these and make sure that pollen is rinsed out of there as well. So after you rinse your flowers, you gotta grab the onion and then you cut it like on moon. This is a, a plant, a pasote. It kind of looks like this, but obviously we're now it's dry. Uh, it's got the same taste, but it's really good. So you need some of that with the onion and the flour, and typically you would use jalapeno, pepper. Fresh jalapeno. 
fresh jalapeno. We got the oil warming up right now. So we're gonna just put this stuff together, figure this out, and make something delicious. Onions in there, then saute. For two to three minutes, yes. saute the onions. So, and then, so these look pretty good. Nice little light golden color. Then you add the flowers. Pretty much steam it out between like a minute, 50 minutes, not a lot. Because of course they're gonna get reduced because of steam. Then you uh, add salt and pepper. Okay. Don't mind the stove. We just made something earlier. <laughs> this was just more of a little test experiment. We've never tried the flowers, so we're gonna try them with you guys. So as you can see, one is steaming now, it's reducing it because you know it's not gonna be the same amount or whatever you throw it in, but uh, uh, it's looking pretty good. So a couple of more seconds it will be done. Oh, another thing I gotta put the, my other ingredient, which is this pepasote. So since it's dry, I'm gonna just grab a little handful and it's gonna be pulled, put it over it. Just to make a little more flavor to it. Oh, that's all you do? Uh, yeah, what well, we don't have. You just add a little bit like that? Yeah. It'll be better if it's fresh, but we don't have it. So. Alright, so it's about to be done. Guys, here is the flower. I'm gonna try it, I'm so scared. All right, I'm gonna try the little flour we just cooked. Mmm, it's tasty. We're having it with cantaloupe water. So obviously I'm eating my quesadilla, but after we're done with cooking it, uh, I throw like tortillas down there. Put the like uh, uh, melted cheese and put the flour on the top of it. Make it a quesadilla. It's really tasty. See the melted cheese and the flour is really tasty. Maybe try it like that. It's better. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned how to make your own courgette flowers. Enjoy.